In Latvian terms, Ventspils is a small town. Even though it's far from the centre of Latvia's economic and political life in Riga, it's always managed to be the centre of attention. Almost everyone in Latvia has a positive opinion about the quality of life in Ventspils, but very few people considered Ventspils to be a tourism destination worth returning to. Therefore, our challenge was not only to attract more tourists and businesses, we wanted tourists to visit Ventspils regularly. So for many years, media and also people were talking that Ventspils act like a state. They have its own special language dialect. They even celebrate New Year's in a specific time. So we thought, what if we take this idea as a state in a state and develop it as a main concept for Ventspils, as a main marketing platform. And then, of course, we decided that Ventspils should have its own money, it should its own embassies, and there are many more ideas that we will uh, launch in the next coming years. So Ventspils started doing what successful states do, printing its own currency and opening embassies throughout the world, that is, in the form of a global embassy. So I guess what's funny is that people even want to buy the money. Like, people like the design and the idea of it, that they, that they actually uh, want to buy it as a souvenir. They have these amazing cows all over the city, which are, I guess, part of an art project that has been happening there. And uh, they're all over town. They're a real landmark. People go there, take pictures of them. So uh, it felt like a good uh, thing to show on the money. Like, not to show people, or because people come and go, but those cows have been there for years. <laughs> The announcement that from now on Ventspils would have its own currency called a tsunami in the media, whose waves extended as far afield as the neighbouring countries of Estonia, Lithuania and Russia. Even the head of the Bank of Latvia, Prime Minister and President were forced to take part in debates about the legality of Ventspils currency, while the general public shared its versions of the currency's design via social networks. In the Latvian media, the news about the emission of vents became the most debated issue of the week, which is why we didn't have to spend any vents or any other currency to buy media time and space. We had to buy capital kuras niec pakalpojums turistiem, bet mums par zinu no sākuma pārsteigumu daudzi privātie uzņēmēji, kas tieši nodarbojas ar turismu industriju un ne tikai turismu industriju pat degļos uzpildu stācijas ieviesa, ka var dabūt atlaidi, ja norēķinās daļai ir ventiem. Ventspils vents are a fully accepted currency throughout the state of Ventspils at more than 40 tourist sites, hotels, cafes, sports clubs and souvenir stores. What we did, we took the offline world and we took the online world and mixed them together. I think uh, the reason why people spend there so much time is uh, because it's a little bit of everything. You get fun by visiting the site, you get uh, money with these online events and uh, you can also share with your friends your uh, excitements. With the support of PR and social media, Ventspils money, Vents, became the attracting force that brought people to the online platform, the virtual embassy. Here the guests can earn Vents by sharing their experiences through video and photos or by making up their own sightseeing route and then spend it during the next visit to Ventspils. Ventus skar tādu varētu teikt otrā interešu kārtu, kas ir, kas ir gan mazie, gan vidēji uzņēmēji, gan no Ventspils pilsētas, gan arī no pilsētas apkārtnes, tāpēc, ka viņi ir sajutuši šo te Ventu, nu, varētu teikt, iedarbības tiešo rezultātu arī attiecībā uz seviņu biznesu. Domāju, ka tā varētu būt arī pilsētas atbildi visiem tiem, kas varbūt uzskata, ka pilsētas pārvaldē vai valsts pārvaldē as a result, almost 10 million vents ended up in circulation. As a currency to be used to make payments in vents bills, vents were used by people from 16 countries. To date, 2,929,500,000 vents have been used to make payments.
During Ventspil's online embassy's first seven working weeks, it was visited by almost 50,000 guests of the state, which is 7,000 more than the population of Ventspils. And they'll be back.